Hello, Bradley. Hey, what's up, Eli? Today we're going to jack some lumber and jack lumber. Nice. Alchemy Labs uh, joint. Yeah, published by Sega, which kind of came out of the blue. Like, uh, this game kind of went dark in a big way. Yeah, like, it did. It was weird. Like, we didn't know what was up. And then it just kind of appeared this week under the Sega flag. Which is great. I mean, it seems like, I mean, Sega's in the tank. Maybe this is their new thing. iPhone yeah. games. Uh, that, that would be cool. I mean, that, that seems like an interesting direction for them to go. So, um, I don't know. Let's, let's give it a give it a spin. All right. so this, is, this is like your cabin here, which serves as kind of like the, the main menu. And uh, you can slide, or you can tilt your iPad to slide these dudes around. <laughs> okay. You you like uh, save an animal or something like that after every level. So I, I've played three, so I have three dudes just chilling in my little cabin. <laughs> okay. So uh, here's here's the the fourth level of the game. Little bent humor in this video game. It kind of reminds me vaguely of Ren and Snoopy. Yeah. Well, the basis for the game is a tree killed your grandma. <laughs> so you're like really pissed at trees. Now I remember why I got excited. So what we're looking at here is kind of like a interesting spin on the Fruit Ninja format mm. in that like like all right so what's happening is you know the logs pop up on the screen and then when you put your put your finger on the screen uh, it slows down time and you basically just have to draw a line through all the uh, all the logs okay like I'm doing remember the Matrix man you remember that movie the M Matrix yeah bullet time. What is that? Oh, <laughs> the ma yeah, you didn't remember it. How yeah. did you forget? Well, no, I was, I was like, what does the Matrix have to do with cutting wood? Come on! But like, so here's like special types of logs. Like this one, I have to go through twice there. And I don't know. It's cool. Yeah, it's a neat spin. It's a good iterative take on it. Uh, yeah, which is important. I mean, like, yeah, this is kind of this is kind of cool because um, you know when, when it seems like the App Store is a big, like, obviously a hit-driven market, right? Right. Uh, and when something hits big, you have all these like derivatives hitting. Right. So I feel like it's been long enough since Fruit Ninja hit that this like feels cool. Right. And and you know Fruit Ninja is also slipping off the charts for the first time in a while too. I yeah. kind of noticed that. So is Angry Birds actually the the OG Angry Birds I noticed was like number thirty eight or something Ooh. today. Uh oh, how the money fall? Well, I mean they still have like two of them in the top ten. So <laughs> and they also own Walmart basically. So. Yeah. So uh, what you're looking at here, like these, the different logs, you, know, you have to handle differently. Like these, you have to swipe in a different way, like or one way specifically. And the ones with the numbers on them, you have to go through that many times to chop them. And this is the end of the level, so you have to avoid the little rabbit thing. What happens if you kill the rabbit? I don't know. It, it seems easy to avoid, so I, you know. <laughs> I feel like you should probably cut up the rabbit. So... It has big, vague objectives like Jetpack Joyride, so they're called errands because you're doing it for your grandma, and like, you know, this is what I'm doing now to unlock additional logs. Okay. And then the rabbit's gonna hang out in your place now? Yeah. Okay. And like, it gets a different sash depending on how well you did. You know, mm. I didn't mess up at all, so I got a gold sash there with three, three stars. So that's cool, I guess. The visualization of, uh, of like that kind of three star system is neat you know just, yeah you know there's some permanence now yeah and you, you get these letters every once in a while that like you know kind of teases you with with new things on the lo along the line like this dude's telling me that you know it's a bit of an amateur chef and he can share recipes with me which i think has something to do with like this cupboard mechanic here so you like what you do with the logs that you get is you can buy these various like i think they're single use power ups okay um, which, you know, have different effects on the game, like, you know, allow you to miss a log or not chop the one-way logs, you know, just one way. And I haven't unlocked these yet, so I don't really know what they do. But and there's also beards, which seem <laughs> like they're a uh, more persistent kind of power-up thing. Right. And I don't know if you can only equip one or whatever. I mean, it, it, as you can see, there's, there's tons of stuff to, like, unlock down the road. And then, like, this is how you, you can pimp out your cabin with... Uh, you know other stuff, and of course you can buy logs via an in-app purchase system. But as you can see, there's basically, I mean, no real <laughs> an extinction to... IAP. I love it. You so know, let's let's buy this. I yeah, I, w so. I wonder. Uh, you know, okay, so the Fruit Ninja audience obviously is massively casual and stuff like that, and you know these guys are going after Fruit Ninja to an extent. I I, I wonder if these two uh, two audiences can mesh because this looks specifically targeted at hardcore gamers, though. You know what I mean? Think so. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, look at the art style and stuff. I mean, this appeals to somebody that isn't the Fruit Ninja fan, right? Or am I crazy? I don't know. I I, I kind of thought the opposite, and that like because of the time slowing down mechanic, right. it's not as uh, you know brutal as Fruit Ninja is. True. True. I mean, because don't you... I haven't played Fruit Ninja in a while, so this might be wrong, but don't you die in Fruit Ninja if you miss... Like, you miss three fruits or something like that? Or yeah. is it three bombs? Like, I don't yeah, well, if you hit three bombs or if you hit three fruit... Or, excuse me, if you miss three fruit, you die. Yeah. So, I mean, it's all about, like, not hitting the bombs and stuff while you're swiping frantically. So, in this, I mean, it's... It definitely, you know, has a frantic air about it because you, you only have time as, like, you know, the amount of time across the top there. Right. Um, and then, like, when you... In this, when you hit the maple syrup, you get, like, a, essentially a bonus round, which is just, like, a really easy, like, one to get lots of points like that. Mm-hmm. So... I kind of like how it is uh, really peeled back, just in terms of, like... I mean, yeah, you might have to move fast, but you don't have to move as uh, sillyly uh, fast as you did in Fruit Ninja. Because I feel like I just screwed up a lot in Fruit Ninja, because I'm just oh. kind of like, Jesus... Yeah, uh, I, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I like Fruit Ninja a yeah. lot, but it, it definitely, like, has that, like, uh, difficulty curve where you're like, wow, this is easy, and then, like, all of a sudden it's like, holy shit, like, I can't even keep up with yeah. this. Yeah, unmanageable, you know, right. like, at, at some point. I mean, I guess that's a point in the game, so. Yeah, you know, exactly. I don't know. Yeah, that's just what it is. Yeah. Save it an owl, Eli Hoda. And, and granted, I'm not very far in this, so, I mean, it could get... That hectic, but I kind of like how it's like level based, you know? Right, yeah, that's nice to actually feel progression in these kinds of games. Like, if there's right. one thing endless games have robbed of us, it's like an actual feeling of, hey, I did this. Right. No, this is cool. And you definitely get that, like, good feeling of, like, hey, I'm doing something as you go back to your cabin every time and, you know, there's like a new dude running around. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. This is uh, basically Jack Lumber. I like it. I like. I, I especially love the art style. You don't. You don't. You don't really see this. Uh, this at all anymore. Like the the faded kind of not so crisp stuff. It, it's it's cool. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know, if you're not familiar with Alchemy Labs, they were the guys that did Smuggle Truck. So you know, you know, you know, you're in for I guess a rip roaring good time. An off kilter game. Is that yeah? An off kilter game. That's that's really fun. Yeah, definitely. So, I don't know. I mean, check it out. Published by Sega, so you know it's it's been vetted by a bunch of people that say it's good. <laughs> check it out!